Konnichiwa YouTubers, this is Red Talk straight from Point Magoo, California. Today we're going to do a video review of Transformers Universe Classics Prowl 2.0 with Acid Blasters. Let's take a look at the package. R.I.D. with Acid Blasters Prowl. Yeah, Universe. I like that G1. Uh, let's see. Transformers Collectors Club on the bottom. Here's the back. <clears throat> came with Sunstreaker, which I already done a review, and Tankor, and there's Prowl, looking mighty good. I love the fact that you got shoulder mounted acid blasters. I thought that was the acid blaster. Uh, I don't know. You want to see his bio? Yeah, well, you can pause it. <laughs> yeah. Let's go take a look at this. This is actually one of my well-worn vehicles oh yeah and the acid blaster is on the bottom right there you can kind of see and from the bottom i mean it hides the robot extras really well you can tell the waste and everything uh it's not that bad i mean it still rolls even with the blaster right there so it conceals it really well half scratches there and i don't like it uh g1 autobot symbol the, the sirens on the top a kind of clear translucent this is painted on the back so the windows the sides <clears throat> Backs are painted on, side translucent, translucent, uh, windshields, kind of paint, bad, bad quality control. But hey, it looks really good. Uh, and this is what I like about the Classic Series. Made back in 2008, looking not so bad. The Highway Patrol, Police, very, very clean lines. I, I like it. I'm going to give it 8 out of 10. Nice, very nice looking. Uh, it also came with instructions. You really don't need them. I do. And uh, the animated light came about back then, so you got the power bots, the two in one. So, man, where, where was this? I never used this before. Awesome. Battle Blasters Optimus Prime and Leader Class Megatron, and yeah, Autobot Battle Bumpers, and yeah, Animator, yada, yada, yada. There's more of the uh, Universe Ultra Class series. You buy stuff, yada, 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 and our Leader Class. Animated. Okay, let's get to the transformation. That was all neat and everything, but I just wanted to show you what you got. Let's see. First thing, we're going to pop this out. And excuse me, I haven't done this in years, so I might miss a few steps here. That's why I got the instructions. And, of course, the blaster. You need to pull that out. And if you were wondering, the blaster does peg in right in there. So, yeah, not bad. Actually, it's upside down. There we go. Pop it out. Bada bing. All right, rotate that up a bit doing good and here's the thing and I'm bad at this is it will pop off of the shoulder joint or the joint so I'm gonna deduct for that so doing good doing good so far all right all right where was I <laughs> yeah we're gonna rotate these bits over here on the back good because now we're gonna pop out the legs yeah not bad split it apart as you can see has heel spurs yeah looking good so far so good pop that out pop the heel spur same thing on the other side yeah looking good let's see not a very complex I'm gonna pop that off it's gonna fall off anyways pop both of them off shoulders pop out makes it easier to do this probably shouldn't have done that move it up 90 degrees all right looking good I think I'm forgetting something. I know this thing has to rotate. Uh, let me pop that off. Yeah. Oh, and also, if you can tell, it's got the acid blasters. So we're going to move that. And let me tell you, it is a pain to put these back together again. So let's put these acid blasters up. Move this down. We're going to pop open. See the hood? That's where the head resides. We're going to pop that open. Rotate that. And... All right, looking good. Rotate that down. Put the whatever the back down, and that's about it. Oh yeah, blasters, beautiful. Okay, rotate the wrists. Good, looking good. I'll be kind of plain. Let's see. I'm gonna pop up these back together. Just for effect. If I can make it happen. Mm. 
Mm. Man, this is difficult. <laughs> Trying to get the old G1, but I can't get this done. There we go. Makes it easier anyways. We just folded that, fold that back just like that. <laughs> Makes it easier anyways. There we go, G1. Yeah, I, I cheated a little bit. It, it doesn't peg in quite as well as I'd like. So I'm going to have to deduct a few points there. I, I like the homage, the G1. I like the white blasters. I wish they had the little paint app. The head is looking pretty good. Uh, I did mention light piping. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> Very good head sculpt. I like that. Head is on a bowl joint and it has this weird looking thing on the on there. It's just for transformation. Shoulder does move in and out and has a joint right there. Swivels up, so it swivels up side to side. Bicep swivel, sort of, kind of. So yeah, good articulation there. Oh, I forgot about the blaster. So all you have to do is, bam. Looking good. Looking good. Big five mil pig. There we go. Alright, I mentioned the bicep swivel, double jointed, or single joint on the elbow, swivel on the wrist. So it's looking not so bad. Articulation does have a kind of a waist swivel if it's not limited by the back over here. It does, it can rotate. But no need to. I think it was, let's see, double jointed knee. Oh, I like that. Ball jointed hip, no waist swivel, or sorry, no thigh swivel. Not too bad. And of course, you know, you got a little swivel here for the ankle. So it's not bad. It's not bad for what it is. Yeah. All right, I'm going to cheat. There we go. Let's see, size comparison. There he is with Megatron. So you can see, not bad looking. Not a lot bad looking figure at all. Robot mode is going to take a few deductions because it takes a little bit to actually put it into position. Yeah, I wish he had bigger feet. 7 out of 10. Alright, YouTubers, that's all I got, and I'll catch y'all next time.